here in uh, Kaleli ESA, uh, specifically at Meander Creek, and we've been dealing with uh, beaver issues, um, causing a lot of uh, damming and, and the, the lodges, causing quite a substantial uh, flooding in this area. The other issue is obviously uh, impacts to uh, infrastructure. Uh, at Highbury Ave, the culvert there has been completely um, underwater, so we've inserted our uh, beaver flow device here at Meander Creek and at this site the water has gone down by uh, a foot and at the culvert edge it's actually gone down by 16 inches. So that's opened up that culvert by a good 40%. We're just checking the culvert here to see what we've done downstream at the beaver dam has had an effect here at the culvert and the water's actually dropped here. So we can relay that information back to the city um, storm water division and then they can let us know whether or not we need to uh, do any more at the at the dam uh, or whether this will suffice then we can monitor monitor it from there. In, by inserting a beaver flow device like we're doing here to control this flooding it's actually a very environmentally friendly way of dealing with this issue. Um, this gives the beaver a chance to to relocate if he wishes and Subsequently, by putting in the, the, the flood device, it controls the flooding so it doesn't impact the, the neighboring properties. So it's a good win-win for, for both parties. The idea is to, to basically lower the water um, at behind or upstream from the beaver dam, um, lower it to the point where you still keep the beaver happy. So essentially, you still keep the ponding effect of the beaver, maintaining uh, the beaver's habitat, but also allowing the water to flow through that uh, pipe and downstream of the dam. And you essentially maintain the water level at or, at or around that sort of three, four foot kind of uh, level so you keep the beaver happy.